Hey guys, it's me Kim from Fragrancy Blog and I'm gonna do another budget perfume review today because I think there are so many perfume reviews on YouTube but not many of them are uh, like very budget and um, I've talked in the past a lot about expensive perfumes and I'm gonna make a video today of my most expensive fragrances but I think you know, the price tag should really, it shouldn't really mean that it's bad, you know. And um, lately I've been on the hunt for like very affordable scents for everybody that are easy to get and that actually smell good. So yesterday I bought this and this is Peace, Love and Juicy Couture. Um, I never had a perfume by Juicy Couture because I, I don't know, I was never really attracted by the whole brand. Um, it's not very popular in the Netherlands, so yeah, it's just, you know, you kind of forget about it. But I went into my local drugstore yesterday when I got out of work and I saw this and yeah, I just really... Uh, felt like buying it and reviewing it. Of course, I searched online to check out some reviews, reading some notes, and yeah, it was 20 euros, so it made me buy it, because the first thing, it's one of the reasons why I had to buy it, because you guys know I'm a sucker for pretty nice bottles, and this is how the bottle looks like. It's very pretty. Um, there's like a hair tie around the cap, so um, yeah, you can use it in your hair, maybe I'm gonna do that, I'm not sure, or I keep it like this, because it kind of belongs to this bottle. Um, this is on um, Eau de Parfum 100 milliliters, so for 20 euros I got a 100 milliliter of juice, um, that's crazy, right? Um, yeah, I will put a close-up of the bottle uh, in the screen right now and yeah um, on the front you have the Juicy Couture it's uh, the logo with two dogs I never really thought they would you is that a dog yeah it's a dog hmm. with a peace sign and a heart um, it looks kind of royal ish so this scent is supposed to be um, the more hippie kind of perfume of the Juicy Couture scents and um, it's supposed to be a lot less sweet than all the other ones and um, yeah, Jeremy Fragrance mentioned that Gold Couture by Juicy Couture is a very good woman scent so I'm still trying to find that one and smell it um, but yeah, this is the one I'm gonna talk about Oh, by the way, if you guys think my intros are too long, please let me know in the comments because, um, yeah, I will use that feedback and make them shorter in the future. So, how does it smell? Um, let me tell you a little bit about the notes because this is a floral fruity scent. Um, one note that is very prominent at the start is hyacinth or hyacinth. Um, it's funny because that's a scent my dad really hates. So I'm going to wear this to my parents and then I hope he will, you know, notice it. Because when he notices it, it it's definitely there. But to me it already is. Um, there is apple in this. Um, there was a lot of lemon, Amalfi lemon, um, there was like um, jasmine in this, cassis, so yeah, it starts very fruity. Um, I'm gonna apply it right now for you guys. Spray is also very good by the way. Um, yeah. It kind of reminds me of a shampoo my mother used to buy in the past when I lived at my parents' house. Um, it also 
a little 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 bit reminds me of the opening of Chanel Crystal A but I used to have a bottle of Chanel Crystal A but I sold it because it didn't really work for me um, but it kind of kind of kind of has like that same yeah it kind of has the same opening um, it's also a very green perfume um, but that's more in the dry down. There's patchouli in the dry down and I think there was also cactus or something. Um, yeah, of course, I will put all the correct notes somewhere. Um, yeah, because my nose isn't that trained. But I think this is a very good scent for such good price. And, you know, I was reading some reviews and some people said that this smells like a hippie and it truly is a you know a malibu kind of perfume but it isn't to me but it is fresh and it's a perfect spring scent and a people pleaser and i'm pretty sure you can give this as a blind buy to someone to a girl because it's a girly scent but it's just i find it to be very good and if I close my eyes and I don't think about the brand and the bottle and everything, it could have been a Barrido perfume, in my opinion, because it has that lightness through it. Um, the scent only lasts for three hours on the skin, even though it's an eau de parfum. Um, but yeah, it's like 100 milliliters, so you have to reapply it. Um, but yeah, the bottle is quite heavy, so you don't keep it in like your bag. Um, yeah, so might as well use like some kind of travel spray um, or purse spray. But yeah, I just really like it. I think it's just a very pretty perfume with a very pretty bottle for a very pretty price, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments, do you know this perfume? And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.